Hello, thank you for downloading the Cork Express 8 podcast. I'm Dan Logan, product manager for Cork Express 8, and today we're going to look at a technique called uh, an image pop-out. Now, what is a pop-out? Uh, well, let's take a look. Hey, there's a pop-out right there. It's pretty self-explanatory. Basically, it's when you uh, have an image and generally the subject of that image is extending out past you know one or more edges of the box and is being cropped by the other edges. You'll often see this technique used in newspapers or magazines or anything with lots of pictures of people. It's usually um, applied to people. You know different people call this technique by different names. I call it a pop-out. Um, there are different techniques for doing this the one that we're going to look at uses some of the clipping functionality within Cork Express, and I like building it with this technique uh, because it leaves it as one single object. I'm not layering together multiple things, so later on I can come in here and I can move that around or I can rotate it, and I don't have to be worried that I'm going to you know, break this assembly that I've built up in order to achieve this pop-out effect. So let's go ahead and take a look at how we did this. I'm just going to delete uh, that one and we'll start over from scratch. The first thing you have to do, of course, is draw a box. I'm just going to paste a box that I already have uh, on my clipboard. I have a frame and a, a blend in there and some other stuff that I don't want to recreate here. Generally, you are going to apply a frame to the box that you use for a pop-out. Um, and I think that's usually done just to sort of you know, increase the effect of the pop-out. If you have a frame on there and that subject really uh, is composed against that frame, it'll really look like they're coming out of it. So I do recommend that you uh, consider using a frame like I have here. And the second thing we need to do is bring in our image. So I'm just going to hide Quark Express. I'm going to go to the Finder and I'll find my image right there. We'll just switch back to Quark Express and I'll uh, drop my image into our picture box here. So once I have my picture in there, um, the very first thing I'm going to do is set the clipping path. One uh, prerequisite for any image that you'll use for this technique is that it has to use either a clipping path or an alpha channel that describes the edge of the subject that you want to pop out of the box. And I'll show at the end uh, how we can use an alpha channel to do that. But in this case, I'm going to use a clipping path. So down here on the measurements palette, I'm going to click on the uh, clipping tab. I'm going to set the clipping type. I'm going to change it from item to embedded path. And it automatically picks the, the clipping, the path I have in there that I want to use. It's called clip. And I will go ahead and uh, set my crop a little bit. So the first thing that I want to do is make, make this image a little bit bigger. You know, I'll get it positioned exactly the way I want it. Let's say um, that's what I want right there. So I'll finish up cropping this um, by actually cropping into the subject. So in this case I'm going to crop the top of this guy's head out because what I want in the final result is for my box to be this size and for the subject to pop out on this top edge. Okay. So and I can check my crop by holding down the command key switch to the item tool. Uh, so that's basically the crop that I want. So now here's where the magic happens. Once you have the crop then you need to select the edge or edges that you want the pop out to occur on and extend that edge out. So this top edge is where we want to pop out. So I'm going to bring it all the way up here above the top of his head. Once you've extended that edge, then you're going to go into the Modify dialog. So of course you can press Command-M, uh, you can right-click and go to Modify like I'm going to do. You can Command-Double-Click the box. There are many different ways to get into the Modify dialog. In the Modify dialog, we want to go to the Clipping tab, and we want to do a couple of things in here. The first thing that we're going to do is click Crop to Box right here. If we look in this preview, area, it's showing us two things. It's showing us the edge of the box that the image is sitting in. So that's basically the, the clip of the box. And then it's showing us the clipping path that the image is actually using. That's this green line. 
What I want to do here is crop to box, which is going to take this blue line and use it as a cookie cutter to cut out this green line and then discard uh, everything that's outside. Crop to box. Now you can see it still shows our green clipping path, but now it's cut by the edge of the box. So crop to box. Then I'm going to turn off this feature called restrict to box. What restrict to box does is it tells Cork Express only draw this picture inside the boundaries of this box. But that's just an option. You can actually turn that off in Cork Express. So we're going to turn that off. Uncheck restrict to box. We click OK. And it doesn't really look like anything happened, right? And that's because um, we haven't changed anything fundamentally yet about how this image looks. We've just sort of changed some things about how Cork Express is going about clipping it. But now we can take that extended edge uh, and bring it back down. Now you can see there's a big difference, which is that his head still exists outside the box. And that's because we turned that restrict to box checkbox off. And now we have a pop out. So it's actually uh, very easy to do. Now, one thing is you have to keep in mind this technique anytime you want to go back and refine the crop on this picture. Because let's say that I went in there right now with my uh, picture tool and I started moving this guy around. You're going to see here that pretty quickly, you know, um, it will break as I move it and change the relationship between this clipping path that I created and the edge of the box that it was in. So all you have to remember is before you make any changes to the crop on um, a pop out is you have to do a few extra things. The first thing that you're going to want to do is go back to the measurements palette and change the clipping type back to item. So you're going to change it from embedded path back to item. That's going to bring all of that image background uh, back. Then you refine your crop. So let's say in this case, I actually want to, you know, give it some rotation. I want it to be angled a little bit. Maybe I'm going to make it even, um, maybe a little bit smaller. So I'll bring it down, right? So this is my new crop. I even want to bring this, this edge in a little bit, right? Okay, so there's my new crop. So step two is refine the crop. Uh, step three is then change back to embedded path clipping. So back on the measurements palette, I'll just go embedded path. Okay, it picks the clip. Then we do the modify dialog thing again. I'll just move this over. I'll command, double click on it, bring up the modify dialog. In there, I'm going, oh, I shouldn't have done this yet. Well, one thing I forgot, you have to actually um, re-extend the pop-out edge. This is an important step. So after you've set the crop, take that pop-out edge and bring it back up. Then go into Modify and crop to box, click OK. Then we can bring this edge back down and now we have our pop out uh, with the new crop. And that's basically how you do a pop out in Quark Express. Um, of course, you can also do it with alpha channels. If we go back um, to this first layout, you can see here we have the exact same technique. Basically, I imported an image, I applied an alpha mask to it. If we look down here on the measurements palette, um, it's not using an embedded uh, clipping path, it's using uh, an alpha mask that lets me get you know a soft edge here. I can actually take that portion that's popping out and I can compose it against its background and the box itself using a very soft edge right there. So basically I extended those sides out, did the same crop to box technique uh, in the modify dialog. You'll, you will want to set clipping to picture bounds f instead of item. Um, do your crop to box, uncheck uh, restrict to box, apply your mask, and you can do an alpha channel pop out here. So that's how you do a pop out in Cork Express 8. So I hope you enjoyed this podcast and go up to our website, take a look at some of the other podcasts we have there. And uh, I hope to see you back again in the next episode. Thanks a lot.